Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at coating the inside of a metal forge with refractory cement. Now the refractory cement uh, that I bought, I found this on Amazon, I was a little bit disappointed because when it arrived, the top was actually uh, knocked off and part of the cement had already dried. Um, I was a little bit relieved when I opened it up and found that there's more than enough left over uh, that had not hardened. Uh, but it certainly gave me a little bit of a scare. This cement uh, is available in a powdered form that you can mix and uh, mix yourself, or you can buy it in the bucket uh, like I have, where it's ready for installation. This is used on forges uh, that use K-wool or ceramic wool to insulate the forge, to keep the heat in. And the purpose of this refractory cement is not only uh, to prevent toxic fumes from that wool, but also it will increase uh, the insulation qualities of the forge. This is a very easy do-it-yourself project. Um, usually you can use one of the little um, plastic putty knives, put on a, a couple pair of gloves, and go at it. You want to coat the entire inside surface of that wool. Um, I actually covered right over the ceramic bricks that were lining the bottom of my forge. Uh, this particular forge is a, a two burner forge from Devil Forge. Uh, this is what I use for uh, heat treating knives that I make. Uh, but you can also use this exact same refractory cement on metal melting forges. Basically any forge that uses this uh, K-wool uh, or ceramic wool insulation. Uh, sometimes the, the putty knife just doesn't do the job and you have to just use your fingers, especially getting around the holes uh, for each one of the burners. You know, you really don't want to cover up those holes, you really just want to cover them and go around the, the hole or the opening uh, without preventing the burner from getting clogged at all. You'll find that on both ends of the forge, uh, it's also easier, probably easier to use your fingers to get into all the little nooks and crannies around the edges. Now my forge is mounted on an old barbecue uh, stand. I just rolled it uh, out of the garage uh, to do this project and then I just turned it around so I could you know, completely coat the other side. Basically all I did was I, I globbed a bunch of this refractory cement um, all over every inside surface and then I went back with that same putty knife and I smoothed it out as much as I could. As I mentioned before, um, you know, if the knife doesn't get into some of the little nooks and crannies, you know, sometimes just taking your finger uh, will, will do a better job. I do that a lot with fiberglass work also. Uh, sometimes your fingers, just a gloved hand works really, really well at getting into some, you know, some of the corners. Now this stuff takes a few days to dry, depending on the temperature. Here I'm just using my, my fingers a little bit more, especially around those, those edges by the door. But everything's completely coated. The little bit of a mess that I made, you know, on the actual forge body itself, uh, can be cleaned up very easily just with a moistened towel. And then you really just have to set this aside uh, for three or four or five days. When it's completely dry, that refractory cement will be like, like normal cement. It'll be hard, hard to the touch. All the surfaces are coated so that this forge now should have a little bit better insulating uh, qualities and it will reduce any toxic fumes from that uh, from that cable. A very easy do-it-yourself project uh, for anybody that uses one of these um, one of these metal melting or knife hardening forges. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. By all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Thank you very much.